Now let's take a look at how to use the new feature virtual camera from PTC Link software. So you are able to share multiple camera streaming into one video conferencing account. Once you turn on the latest PTC Link software, you will be noticing there are two options connecting your cameras. And if you'd like to use the virtual camera, make sure you choose the second one, connect camera via USB. And so far, I already have two Aver Pro AV camera connected to PC via USB. And let's start from the first one, TR313V2. For the microphone, you will still need the IP and also the IP address of the microphone. And according to my um, short website uh, discovery, I can have my MXA910 here as an example and also rename it as let's say group one. So as you can see right now, the first group has been successfully added. So if you're noticing, you will see there is a, a blue blinking icon right here. This indicates dynamically this video feed from PTC Link is now picked up as a webcam source by other application. And that could be Teams, Zoom, or Google Meet, which is actually what we are doing today. And if you want to add the second video source, you can just repeat what we just did. Select the camera, this time PTC 310. And for this case, I'm using the same um, microphone address and the given name like group two. So you will be seeing that uh, these two cameras are now successfully added. The next step, you will need to set up the camera preset and pair up to the specific channel of the microphone. And next step you will need is go to your video conferencing application. Here, I'm using Teams as example. So go to settings, device settings, and make sure you choose the Aver virtual camera. So let's see, as long as you activated, the previous uh, camera feed from PDZ Link is now going through here inside of the Teams. Hi everyone, in this video we are going to show you the performance of the uh, virtual camera from PDZ Link. Uh, on my left hand side you will be noticing I already have two groups setting up from PDZ Link, which we have two different cameras and also using the same microphone. And both camera feed are picking up by virtual camera, so you are able to see that. Uh, from another uh, video conferencing application. And in this case, I'm using Zoom. So if I have another participant start to talk, you'll be noticing the camera switching to another uh, view. So Ellen, would you like to say hello to everyone? Hello, I'm Ellen. I'm OAVP. And uh, uh, you are watching the PTZ 30. That means we have the 30 base optical zoom. Yes, that's right. So uh, I'm not sure whether you just noticed that, but uh, once the virtual camera is fitting into the video conferencing application, um, uh, PTZ Link, there is a blue leaking icon that indicates it is dynamically uh, picked up as a uh, webcam uh, to, for example, Zoom in this case. So if I have Alan to say something else, you'll be seeing the camera switching back to her again. Yeah, so Kiki, would you please share uh, which uh, microphone supported PTZ Link. Yeah, exactly. So for this uh, virtual camera, we still support the uh, Shure MXA series and also the Sennheiser TCC2. And in this demo today, I'm using the Shure MXA910 for both groups and also picking up the voices in the room. Another thing that worth noting is uh, since the network environment varies, uh, you may experience a certain video latency when using the current virtual camera from PDZ Link. So if you do have this case, it is suggested to uh, use the delay setting from other DSP. For example, right now I'm using the Shure P300 DSP. So through the software, 
I am able to turn on uh, the delay setting right here. So as you can see right now, the delay already been turned on and I set up the duration for 400 milliseconds. So you should be noticing the uh, audio video sync performance should be uh, optimized.